Hallelujah. So we have two servants of God in the house, and we're going to begin with uh, the servant of God all the way from Israel, Pastor uh, Baruch Mayan, as he takes over. After that, then God's servant from Portacot will take over. Man of God, please take over the platform. He said, have your way. Thank you, Jesus. Glorify you. Hallelujah. Name. Amen and amen. Galatus. Good morning, everybody. What a blessing it is. We are living in desperate times, but the Lord is not desperate. He is just, his eyes are going to and fro across the earth, looking for those who will respond and fulfill what his plans are for these days. And we have to believe, we have to believe that his plans are greater over and abundantly more than we could ever think of or ask for. Hmm. This young man, Evan Roberts, he was at the age of 12, he became a coal miner. He left school and he started coal mining. He stayed in that job for a couple of years and then became a blacksmith with his uncle, but he had a desire for God. He was pious. He was of the Calvinist upbringing. He was pious. He wanted holiness, but he wanted God. But he began to hear about the Holy Spirit. He began to hear and faith grew in him. I believe we really have to understand faith because this man became a prayer warrior who seeked one thing. He believed that he would be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Now, we living in days when the Holy Spirit has become more and more uh, known to the multitude. But in his day, it was a rare occasion and he thirsted over the Holy Spirit. He went to a service at the age of 25, and this was in 1904. At the age of 25, he went to a service and the preacher was preaching, bend me, asking the Lord, bend me. And this hit his heart. He knew this is what was needed. There needed to become a bending and a changing in his own heart and in his own character so that God could fill him with the Holy Spirit. Soon after that, he received and he experienced, he was crying on the floor. He went over the chairs in the church service and he was saying, bend me, bend me. After this, he had three four hour visitations with the Lord. It is said that he, in his own words, and he was a sober man, a very sober man. He said, it was like Moses. I sat face to face with the, with the creator of heaven and earth, with God. I sat face to face, four hours, three nights. After this, a man who before was shy and very serious became overflowing with joy and with power. And he said, at the age of 25, I want to go and preach at the church this uh, Sunday evening. They said, but you haven't been invited. He went and they asked the pastor. The pastor said he can speak to the youth that remain behind. There were 16 of them. After on the side, he went and he spoke to these 16 youth and the Holy Spirit came down and they were crying. He had four conditions. The one was that we must be free from sin. We must make sure that every sin that we know about, that we can bring it to the Lord, that we must be committed to God, that we must have faith and believe that God will do to us and consecrate and then to be consistent. Now, 
all 16, all 16 of them were weeping and crying and falling on the ground and became filled with the Holy Spirit. Soon after that, the pastor asked him back and it became like a, like a snowball. It just, he went from, soon he was traveling from place to place with a message and thousands upon thousands. But before this, this is what I want to emphasize. Pastor Light was quite right when he spoke about unfinished mantle. Yes, sir. He believed before anything happened, he said to his friend, why don't we believe for 100,000 souls? This was in Wales, in a little village in, in Wales. It seemed impossible, but within nine months, they met that, that, that number because they were keeping a, a pace of the amazing event of this revival. After, you know, when one person catches fire, this fire becomes shared all over. But we know that the spark, we believe, people say that the spark became, started with Evan Roberts. And for nine months, and he, he was very active, but he became shaken. He, in his heart, he was a young man. He was a young man. In his heart, he never wanted any glory for himself. He only wanted the glory for the Lord. But every time he did something, the Holy Spirit came down. People got saved. People were delivered. The gifts flew, um, flowed. The gifts of the Holy Spirit. It was complete transformation. In Wales, crime dropped so that the police had nothing to do they actually made a musical group three groups to play at the revival meetings because they they were not looking after criminals anymore they only had two cases in um, in in a number of months whereas before it was 700 cases of crime crime dropped the the taverns closed down the 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 whole of society the whole of the nation changed there was incredible transformation in the whole nation of wales and many other nations all over the world people came from everywhere to taste this revival but it soon died out it is called the 1904-1905 revival. It died out because one of the things is that this man with this incredible calling, this incredible man, mantle, he, he became worried and concerned and started to, to, to be um, afraid that too much glory and that things were not from the Lord. He got deceived by a woman who he wrote a book with and then he denounced the book. And so he, even as a brother, he continued to be, uh, he interceded, but the, the mantle was dropped. I believe that we must really pray. pray. It says in Hebrews 11, verse 6, and this is very important. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And it was this kind of faith 
he believed for the impossible. He believed for something that was not very common, that people would be baptized with the Holy Spirit, even himself. I believe we need a fresh baptism in the Holy Spirit. I know that we taste, we speak in tongues, we praise the Lord. But you know, when this kind of revival breaks out, they didn't even have music. Sometimes there wasn't even preaching. There were just occasional words of encouragement, but thousands upon thousands of people were coming and being transformed and receiving the power of the Holy Spirit. It wasn't a program. People just came. People just came. And this faith, this faith that we must believe and ask God, I believe let us pray for faith. Let us pray for the Holy Spirit. But let us pray that the Lord will do impossible things. Look at your nation. Look at your nation. This mantle that Evan Roberts had, he saw this nation. He saw the need. It was in a bad state. In nine months, the nation was transformed from a sad, serious situation to one of absolute revival. But they did not push forward, and the fire died down. But I believe the Lord wants something amazing to happen in your nation, in my nation, in this world. He wants us to look at all of the nations and to see how terrible things are going, how badly things are going, and to believe that God is going to do something amazing. And let us pray and let us stick to that belief. Stick to that belief, but it must first start with us. And then we've got to ask that this mantle that was on Evan Roberts would continue the work that God began to continue and to perfect that work that God began, the transformation of nations and then the keeping of them in continuous multiplication of revival and of the saving of souls and of regeneration and of growing in glory and of growing in power. So let us pray for this. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Rabbi Mashiach, Ah, Lord God. You are able. You desire this more than we do. You desire the name of Jesus, Kostyam. You desire it for your throne of grace, Kostyam, this morning. Father God, Kostyam, Tikoam, you are showing us, Kostyam, that you are God that is able. Father God, Kostyam, in a man, as we hear, Kostyam, Tikoam, what you did, Kostyam, a dwelling, so a dwelling, for even Robert said, Father, in the name of Jesus, so a dwelling, God, that Father God, the whole nation, the whole nation changed, Father. The whole nation, Father God, the whole nation, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, Father God, Father God, we are coming before your throne, Father, for some endless, asking for what you promised to continue, Lord God, will continue that there will be no stopping. Let this man fall upon many young people. Lord, I pray for you. Let us pray for those who are just 
now with our brother man all right thank you so much sir thank you and may the lord bless you abundantly all right we want to get to the second leg of the ministration before i continue so um please as we continue this i want 